Hey, hey, everybody. I hope you're doing well today. This is the key term series of Theory of the Firm, and today we're going to look at total product, marginal product, and average product and see where they fit into our studies of Theory of the Firm. Check out this table I put together for you. This is to help you know what exactly the terms that you need to know are for costs in cost, revenue, and profit, okay? So today we're gonna to look at total product, average product, marginal product, and um, that's part of the general terms that you need to know. The short-term um, cost definitions or, or, or words you need definitions for are listed here, and the long-run cost terms that you need to know are listed here. I find this exceptionally helpful so that you understand like where you are in your studies, okay? Today, we are working right there. All right, so total marginal and average product. What does that mean? Well, I'm just gonna say really quickly, and this might be repetitive if you've seen other videos, but what I want you to focus on are the prefixes here for of total, marginal, and average. These terms repeat themselves. The total is simply the total of anything. It doesn't matter what it is, okay? The marginal is the addition of one more thing of whatever it is. And average is the, the total amount of those things divided by the number of those things. So the best way to think about this is if you wanted to um, figure out like what the total marginal and average height was of everybody in, the, in a fourth grade classroom, let's say there are 10 kids. The total height would be if you added up all of their heights, boom, and that's how tall they would be collectively. The marginal height would be if you added an 11th person. How tall is that person? That's the marginal height. Okay, and the average height of all those people, of the 10, would be to add all of them up and divide by what? The number of people in the room. So in theory of the firm, total, marginal, and average come up a lot, and what changes is this suffix. I like to think of it as a prefix and a suffix. Product, in this case, is product. So keep that in mind, it's super helpful. So in this case, we're talking about total product. Well, what's total product? It's kind of simple then. It's the total quantity of output produced by a firm. Product is the thing they make. If it's mate cups, if it's coffee cups, if it's cell phones, if it's keys, if it's paper, that's what they make. How many do they make? Well, that's the total, okay? The marginal product, marginal product is the extra or additional output resulting from one additional unit of labor. And this is an important thing. Marginal product and the product is divided by how many people are actually making it, okay? So if you added one more person, all right, to your classroom of 10 fourth graders and that person were taller, the marginal addition, the, the new student that walked in would be marginally taller than everybody else. So that product, that person would be taller. If they were shorter, it'd be shorter, okay? And average is just taking that total quantity, right? And dividing it by the total quantity. So in the case of um, a firm, the total quantity of, of output per unit of labor. So for product, we are always talking or dividing by, or to think about it mathematically, the denominator is always quantity, okay? I think that should be pretty clear. Listen, these are the kinds of things that you can do very easily to be successful and to understand how IB economics works. Okay, my friends, so there you go, total product. Marginal product, average product, sounds complicated, it isn't. You got this. Good luck in your studies. I hope you found this video to be helpful, and we'll talk to you in a bit.